Next is Michelle Whitney. I know how to pronounce your name. Yes, you do. It's pretty simple, isn't it? First question, what is the yellow barrier for? What is the yellow barrier for? It's to keep individuals from walking up in front of us. Well, nothing says I have failed in communication and I'm failing in leadership quite like putting a big yellow barrier in between yourself and the public, the very people that vote for you. It's not a good look, not a good look at all. The field stuff, or the, uh, the state stuff, amazing. That, that is probably the best money the school district has spent in a long time. I was absolutely in awe of that study, fantastic. It's not good, but it's, it's good to know information. Talking about failing in communication, I still have not figured out why we have three IT positions. I realize there's one person leaving, but there are two other that are listed. And these positions are listed online as being open and available to apply to as of 5 o'clock tonight. So what exactly is going on with the IT department? These are anticipatory positions. The one we know is going to be filled. Why are the other two positions here? You have heard from Michael Rumpf and I over and over and over again. You've got to streamline. You've got to consolidate. You've got to start making cuts. You've got to start getting rid of the fat in this district. You're killing the county. The people are leaving. Your student enrollment is down. They don't want to be here. There's nothing here. You hear the same thing. We say the same thing almost all the time. We had neat little things in between. So why are these positions here? Why do we need them? Why are we growing? Grow, grow, grow. More jobs. You're going to have to raise taxes, obviously, right? Your body language tells me you've already made a choice. And these gentlemen tell me you don't really have a choice anymore. So guess what? Now you don't have anybody coming into this area because your property taxes are too high. Or houses that are there are going to be abandoned, they're going to be taken off the property tax rolls. And who has to step up for all of that declination? Your taxpayers do. It's no one's situation, right? You have got to streamline and consolidate. Get Six Sigma people in here. Get Agile people in here. Streamline your processes, your departments. I know it's not good. I know you don't want to. I know you guys are friends. Everybody you work with is a friend, right? But you have to start opening your eyes. You have to start realizing that this is not going to work. Thank you. Ms. Whitney. Yes. Um, I will actually uh, comment on the IT department. If, uh, Thank you. Okay. Uh, realistically, uh, we have right now, I believe, a total of five people employed in the field of technology. Knowing how far spaced out things are, only having three TAs, which are technology associates or assistants, to repair computers, you know, fix projectors, things like that, and the number of buildings that we have now, obviously, we're being told that uh, that might not be the most efficient thing either. They're just too spread out. We're not able to really, the, the buildings are too spread out. Uh, so it's hard to cover with only having three, really three technicians. The other positions, uh, the network supervisor and the director of technology, uh, obviously the network supervisor is a replacement for somebody who is, uh, is retiring. Uh, they're different skill sets. They're very, very different skill sets. So we don't believe that necessarily we're doing ourselves the best job or the, the best uh, effort for our students by having somebody who's a network person who deals with routers and switches and servers trying to lead instructional design efforts. It probably just isn't the best way to do that. I understand that. And the net change, I, I know, I agree with you, I don't, I don't want to see us grow complement. I really don't. But I don't see any way that we can possibly serve our students or our faculty in the field of technology with the status quo. It's just not going to work. Now, I agree that there are some things that we can look at in terms of streamlining some other processes. We've been trying to do that. But if we want to be a, a school of the future and not a school of uh, the 1960s or something like that, 
as uh, sounds like some of our buildings haven't been changed since then. It's one of the areas we have to take a look at, and I feel very passionate about that. Well, I do as well. Now, is this a restructure of the departments? Or are these jobs actually available? Uh, it's a restructuring, but uh, there's realistically there's going to be two jobs. There's going to be two positions that will be filled uh, from external applicants we're looking at. Uh, the but that's other not what you told me last week. I was incorrect. There's two. There's two that will be filled from internal from external applicants. The other is going to be a move internal. Okay. Well, I appreciate the information. Sure.